In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to host a website in GoDaddy cPanel. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you wish to upload a file to a website that you have hosted through your GoDaddy subscription in a Linux hosting account, you will be able to do so when you go over to your products or domains. So all that you have to do is click my products after you sign into the GoDaddy website and under the web hosting, you should be able to find next to your Linux hosting account that you want to use the option to manage it. So click manage as I've highlighted here for the respective web hosting service and you will be redirected to your account dashboard where under the websites, you can find the specific website that you want to manage. Click the three dots at the right side of the website title and then choose the file manager option from the drop down menu. Immediately, you will be redirected to a page where you can manage and host a website in the GoDaddy cPanel. As you can see, File Manager will upload your files to the root directory for the website. So just make sure that you select the proper directory where you want to upload those files. And if necessary, select a different directory in the directory tree. But for the most part, as long as you have some path selected, click upload at the top, you will be able to choose any files from your computer and upload them directly to your cPanel. The best way to do this is to create a zip file, upload and then unzip the file inside of the file manager. But regardless of which option you pick, you will be able to upload them and manage them directly from the cPanel. You can repeat this process as many times as you wish with as many files as you have, regardless of how many websites you have hosted on the GoDaddy cPanel. If you encounter any problems while trying to do this, make sure that the directory is set properly and that you click upload at the top of the screen. I hope I was able to help you on how to host a website in GoDaddy cPanel. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.